Hello, this is Kristen, and this is my journey through surgical correction for my pectus excavatum. Today, I am waking up one day out from my bar removal surgery that I had yesterday, and I just kind of wanted to take some time to um, go over everything and um, in more detail than my my last video. Um, first off, though, I want to give a special shout out to some important people. First off, my mom and dad, I love you so much. Um, they were the ones that took care of me three years ago for my nest procedure. And um, I can't thank them enough for all of their love and support. They're always there for me and I couldn't have better parents. Um, so thank you so much for being by my side. They were at the hospital all day yesterday uh, for my bar removal. And I love you guys. Um, also my sister Jamie and my brother-in-law Ed um, thank you so much for always being supportive and there when I need you and I love you guys so much um, my sister was there all day with me yesterday and also uh, three years ago for my nest procedure also my brother-in-law stopped by both times and I really appreciate that from both of you and I love you so much and of course my brand new hubby we've only been married for three weeks as of tomorrow and he already has the task of taking care of me so he's doing a really great job and i couldn't do this without him and i love you so much um also thank you so much for all of my family and friends that reached out um on my facebook and through text messages thank you everybody for thinking of me and praying for me um, I really, really appreciate it. And um, sorry that my Facebook feed is filled with all of the surgery stuff, pictures and videos, but thanks for not getting annoyed with it. Um, <laughs> uh, but that's what I wanted to shout out to first. And then, um, of course, I need to give my dis disclaimer that I, of course, am not a medical doctor. I do not give medical advice, so I'm not capable of that. Do not take any of my um, suggestions or advice as professional medical advice. If you have any questions, please ask your own doctor. Okay, um, so yesterday went to the hospital in the morning, um, went to pre-op first, and I must say my nurse Megan was phenomenal. She was so, so, so sweet. And um, she basically just got me all ready for surgery. They got me in the bed. The Mayo has these really cool hospital gowns by Bear Paws, the brand Bear Paws. And it has a tube that hooks in and you have a little remote control and you can make your gown blow hot air or cold air at any time. So it's really cool. Um, so they got me all in my bed, my IVs in, gave me some medications to start with. And then my family came in and we just waited for uh, surgery time. So they wheeled me back to surgery. I want to say around, I think it really was around noon. Um, and uh, got into surgery. Um, and I believe, well, she said that it would probably take one to two hours for the surgery. But somehow she finished in 44 minutes. So that was awesome. Um, she said they basically just kind of slid right out. No issues, no problems. She opened up. Uh, each incision on each side, the same ones from before. Uh, luckily, she did not have any type of implant rupture with my breast implants, so those stayed intact. I didn't have to do anything new with those, so that is wonderful. I'm very thankful for that. Uh, after surgery, they wheeled me into recovery, and I am very fortunate that I wake up right away um, as they're wheeling me back. I'm already waking up, I'm already with it, I'm answering their questions, I'm happy as a clam. So, I'm a very lucky one that gets to be like that after anesthesia. Not everybody's like that, but I am very fortunate. Um, so I got to recovery, they have to keep you for at least one hour, just to check and make sure you're, you're stable and good uh, before they let you go. So I was in there with, oh gosh, I wish I could remember her name, but I think it was Morgan. And she was amazing too, the nurse. So we just kind of chatted for an hour. It was kind of fun. I feel like I had a new best friend by the end of it. Um, but it was, I had a really good time. So we, we hung out, chatted. The cool thing with this time is that I was allowed to have drink right away. So, um, and I still have dry mouth as you, you could probably hear it. I don't know, but, um, in anesthesia, they give you something in your mouth 
to specifically dry it out from the saliva so that everything works better with anesthesia in the tube. Um, that's what the nurse told me. So I've got that going on. And then also, of course, the pain medication uh, can give you dry mouth. So um, I still have it. <laughs> Just lots and lots of fluids, chewing gum. And uh, my throat is a little uh, sore. It, it's just from the anesthesia is what I've been told, so that'll go away. But it is uh, sore this morning and last night. Um, what else? So when I was done with recovery, they let my family come in um, to see me. And I got my bars. So here they are. They are not little. <laughs> so there's one, and I only have one hand. Um, there's the other. So these bad boys right here, metal, <laughs> stainless steel, I believe. They were in me for three years, so pretty cool that I'm holding them now. And it really is meaningful, and I have so many memories when I look at them. So I will keep these forever. So that's what they look like. Um, then once uh, the hour was up in recovery, she got me dressed, pulled my IVs out, um, and then gave me discharge information and sent my husband off to get the car and I was wheeled out in a wheelchair. Got to go home. I want to say I got home around 3.30ish. So that's pretty good. Um, my husband went and got me some lunch and I just kind of relaxed all day in bed and we watched movies and hung out. Um, and only bad thing I'm going to say right now is the pain medication that they gave me to take home. It works great for the pain, however, uh, it keeps me awake. <laughs> it makes me feel very awake and alert, um, so I did not sleep, I have not slept yet, not one minute, I'm not exaggerating, I haven't slept for even a minute. Um, so today they said they would call me to follow up, so I'm going to talk to them about that and see if maybe there's something they can give me at night that's a little different that could make me sleep, because um, it's very important to get your rest when you're recovering. Um, as far as the pain goes, I have been taking my pain medication every four hours as they told me to. Um, it's not a really bad pain. Uh, my left side is better than my right side. My right side has always been the one that's been more painful. And I think the right side is where she, um, enters and does more work and manipulation than the left for me. Um, so that side is, is really sore. I'm going to do some icing today. Um, it's, it's a little hard to get in and out of bed, so my husband has to push me out, um, push me up. I had to sleep with pillows stacked last night. I can't lay flat yet. Um, and then I have a neck pillow that is really, really helpful. And what else? So, um, need to get some sleep, need to ice, uh, pain levels controllable. I think that's about it for now. Um, so I will keep you guys updated, but, oh, I was going to say this too. She did tell me, Dr. J, that it's going to probably take a good couple of months before I actually feel a noticeable difference um, now that the bars are out. But I'm going to tell you right now, I actually cried yesterday to my husband because I was so happy. I cried happy tears. Um, I'm telling you what, I can already tell a major, major difference, and I know it's not I'm not fully there, but I'm telling you what, it's going to be amazing once I'm done recovering. Um, I can just, I can already tell that I don't have bars in, and it's a wonderful feeling. It makes me emotional. It makes me cry happy tears. I'm, I'm ecstatic that this journey is um, done. Of course, I had it, you know, it was good going through it because I learned a lot about myself. I was able to share things with people, help people. So I'm glad that I went through it, but I'm also glad that I'm at my finish line for myself um, because I know I'm going to be happier and I'm going to feel better and it's all over with. So that is a wonderful feeling. But uh, anyways, I will talk to you guys later. Um, if anything happens over the weekend, I'll do another video. Otherwise, I have my post-op appointment on Monday, so I'll probably just video after that. But thanks for listening. Bye, guys.